Okay, so we've laid in our interview clips, we've started adding B-roll, things are coming along. The thing is, however, even the best editors don't get it perfect the first time. Editing is all about finessing, figuring out when you need to tighten up a series of shots, when you need to let them breathe, when to repair continuity, and when to leave well alone. Let's take a look at what we've got. I'm in my 2.6 bin, and I've loaded the sequence. And uh, I'm a little bit further along than where we left things in the last movie. I've laid in some more of my B-roll, but as I'm working, I have a few things that I need to fix. I'm gonna come right here and zoom in a little bit. And I wanna play this for you. Boundary. Because we're giving up. I'm gonna play it one more time and just listen very carefully. Boundary. Because we're giving. Now this is almost what I want, but do you hear that tiny noise right before she says because? I'd like to clean that up. And I'm gonna do that by trimming. All right, so I'm going to increase the size of my audio tracks a little bit more and zoom in a little bit more because this is a very tiny trim. And I think I'll even press the tilde key to give myself a little bit more room. And again, I'm gonna play it. And again, I think this is the sound that we wanna get rid of. Because we're getting- Okay, because right here is where she starts to say because. So by default, when I grab onto the edge of the clip with the selection tool, the cursor turns into this red bracket and it will perform a reductive trim like so. So I think I've eliminated the sound. Again, I'm gonna play. Because we're giving. Maybe just one more frame. Because we're giving. All right, I like that. However, look what's happened. We have a gap now. The gap is three frames long. And to fill in the gap, we now need to grab everything downstream. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And grab it and drag it over to fill in the gap. Now, that isn't such a big deal for only two clips, but as you can imagine, it's certainly not as easy to do when you have an entire timeline of material that you need to drag. So there's actually a faster and easier way to do this, which is what I wanna show you now. Let me undo that, Command Z. And this time, instead of moving my clips, I'm going to do something else. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here, plus plus. And instead of grabbing these, I'm just going to right click in this space and choose Ripple Delete. So now my downstream clips have rippled in to fill in the gap, and let's just take a listen. Because we're giving a room. And the sound is gone, and there's no gap. So the built-in timeline ripple delete is really great, but there's an even faster way to do it. So I'm going to, again, undo. And let's actually get our sound back in there. Okay, and I'll zoom out a little bit. And let's give it a play. Within a set boundary. Because we're... All right, so our sound is back in there, and I'm gonna show you one more method to take care of this. And this time, instead of trimming the way I just did, I'm gonna to switch to another tool. I'm gonna to press tilde to go back to my regular editing workspace. And so instead of selection tool, I'm gonna to come down here to the ripple tool, and that keyboard shortcut is B. So you can press B, or you can click on here. Let's go ahead and press tilde to maximize, and then zoom in a little bit. And this time, when I grab onto the transition, and move it my three frames to fix this. Watch what happens. There's no gap. So a ripple performs the trim and fills in the gap at the same time. Let's give this a play. Because we're giving up. All right, so I've eliminated the sound and I've accomplished this in one action instead of two. I no longer have to eliminate the gap myself. I'm gonna press tilde. And whenever you're done rippling, I do recommend to just hit the V key, which goes back to the selection tool so that you're just in regular edit mode again. All right, I'm gonna fit this sequence in the timeline view, backslash, and I wanna come down to this edit because I also have an issue down here. I'm gonna zoom in and let's play this. But we're telling the story around the piece because we do work abstract. So as you can see, it looks like I'm cutting off Susie's last line here. So again, I think the ripple trim here would be good. I'm gonna press B and I'm gonna grab onto this and then just drag out. And this time, instead of performing a reductive trim where I take away frames, I'm performing an additive trim where I'm adding frames. Let's see if I've got it. With our design, because we do work. All right, so she's taking a little bit more of a breath that I want to get rid of, so I'm going to go back. And let's play that. Peace with our design, because we do work abstract. All right, that's much better. She gets to finish her line. And I'll just press V to go back to the selection mode. All right, so that's the traditional trim as well as the ripple trim. There really are a lot of different ways to trim in Premiere Pro, and we won't be going into all of them right now, but I do just wanna cover one more method, and that's here with my B-roll. So again, I'm going to backslash to fit everything in, and I wanna come over here, and I wanna play this for you. Seeing that energy, making it respond to our will with our bare hands, 
wet newspaper on the 2,000 degree surface. So right here where she says wet newspaper, we're not seeing wet newspaper. And I don't want to ripple trim because the timing of the clips down here is good. All I want to do is move this transition earlier so that we can actually see the wet newspaper when she's talking about it. So to do this, I'm going to use the roll tool. That's over here in the tool palette, and that corresponds to the N key. So conveniently, right next to the B key on the keyboard, so we have ripple on B and roll on N. I'm going to zoom in here. And as I hover, you can see that the cursor looks a little bit different. And this time, I'm just going to click, and I'm going to drag earlier. And you can see what's happening. The transition is just moving between these two adjacent clips. Nothing else is affected. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play this now. Our will, with our bare hands, wet newspaper. On All right, so that really works. We're seeing the wet newspaper at the exact right time. We didn't have to mess with any other clips. We just moved this transition earlier, and it's working really well. All right, so again, there are a whole lot of ways to trim, and we've just touched the tip of the iceberg. But now you know the basic trim and the ripple and the roll, you can basically tweak any shot you need to. Stay tuned later in the course, though, while we go into all the ins and outs of the masterful art of trimming.